Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello, good evening to you. And part of the story here is the Albight Stadium by night. 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Poland versus Argentina. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. look at the starting lineup for Poland well on paper they look a very balanced team but the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the center forward otherwise they might just lack a bit of penetration The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Angel Di Maria starts with Lionel Messi in the wide midfield positions and leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. And the contest begins. Well, you always feel there's a bit of extra pressure on Argentina going into the World Cup. It's been 36 years since last they lifted the trophy. But can they produce the sort of performances we saw from them in 1978, inspired by Kempes, and in 1986, inspired by Maradona? Well, they were unbeaten in the qualifying group. They've got some top players, they've got a coach who knows how to win games tactically, but they've got a couple of tricky games in Mexico and Poland that they should go through, I think. And Lewandowski in the thick of things. Not the best clearance. Cash. Now just the tackle that was needed. Now well Molina. Now with Messi. De Paul. Messi in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. As an opposing defender, you dare not take your eyes off Robert Lewandowski, even for a fleeting moment, Stuart. Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. It'll be a corner. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, you're not going to bamboozle the goalkeeper with a corner like that. De Paul. Now well Molina. Now with Messi. Martinez.
Now Messi. Martinez! Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Well, it was a splendid piece of goalkeeping, but he has to remain on his toes. Paredes. Di Maria. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Well, Argentina are enjoying most of the possession, but it's been a frustrating performance from them so far. They just haven't had enough guile in the final third. It's all been a bit too predictable. Which has oh, hang on, Stuart. Big chance here. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it, and now they've been rewarded. Well, here's the replay, and you can see Di Maria's cross is played into a really dangerous area. And what about the finish? With such control and technique, that could have gone anywhere, but not with his skill. It's a great goal. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Messi has the strength to hang on to it. Well, that's the end of that move for now. So the whistle then, we're at the halfway stage in this match. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I'm sure the manager will be delighted with him. He'll have drilled it into them to keep their focus, keep playing through to the half-time whistle, and it's certainly put them in a good position to go on and win this now. And now they get the ball rolling. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Lewandowski. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Paredes, Giovanni Lo Celso, and very deftly cut out. Messi, and options in the centre. Martinez. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Now well, Molina. Messi. Nicely timed tackle. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Can they keep it going? Kaminski. High quality defending. Giovanni Lo Celso. De Paul. Messi. Good physical play. Paredes. I must say, this looks promising. Lionel Messi. And he'll take efforts like that all day long. Mateusz Klich. Ten minutes to go there. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Zielinski. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. 
We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go, and just one goal between them. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Oh, moving it nicely. And the final whistle, a victory for Argentina. Precisely what their fans were hoping for, Stuart. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. And Stuart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, he was excellent today, and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever.